Hi, welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about my new Comfy UI custom node called If AI Tools. This node, what it does is basically creates a very nice prompt for you to make images in a stable diffusion in Comfy UI. If you have been watching this channel, I made a tool like this for a stable diffusion web UI for automatic 11, Forge, and XDNX and it's available, you can find it in my channel. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And this one works the same, but I named this one If AI Tools because I plan to make like more tools around LLMs and everything will go in here in these same notes. And yeah, that's why I name it like that. But I'm gonna kick started with this, which is the If Pro Maker. And when you first install the tool, you can right click in any empty space in your config UI and you will add a node. And basically you can go into impact frames and click this and you will have these four nodes in here. Prone to prone, image to prone and save to text, right? So in here you can select all the modes that are available in your installation. At the moment I have five modes. I am using this and nose Hermes 2 Pro which just came out a few days ago and it's a Q3 or you can use like an special stable diffusion prom maker with uh, this an special mold that makes stable diffusion prompts but you can use an standard mold too and I'm using the standard now so you have the embellishments here these are presettings that you can add to make the thing the picture even better if you like and the styles, like the style of picture that you like to see, if it's a horror or architecture, anything. And all these files, you can edit them. They are inside the If AI Tools custom node. There are folders in there with the presettings, which are normal text uh, files, separated comma concepts. So you can go and do your own or edit the things that you don't like from there if you like. And in here we have the save text right so the outputs of this the question response and negative will go into the here and you can save the text you can create one first the first time you have to change the mode to create so you have overwrite or create and the next time you run it will append if you put it into append uh, you need to select save and then the outputs of this the llm went ahead the LLM in the computer went ahead and enhanced that small prompt that I put here in the text area. So in here you can put something small like a concept and like the background maybe. Yeah, the main idea of the prompt that you want to put separated by commas to two things. And yeah, that's how you enhance this prompt. Okay, so the LLM went ahead, took that ancient megastructure, a small long figure, and do a, a small long figure positioning in the foreground, observing a tower, an ancient megastructure, gargantuan, crystalline formation, shimmering golden hues, and you can see that everything is replicated here in the image. So depending on how good your model is, I'm using at the moment Tempest, which is a great model that can actually capture your tags very well and you can see the long figure the cave crystalline structures in here and the interesting thing about this node is that every time it gives you like this gacha effect that you have like different surprises with your llm the thing that it creates is very creative all the time change and it's super interesting so another node that comes in here is the image to prompt and in here you can ask anything about the picture and if you leave it like empty it will create like an stable diffusion prompt from this so this is a previous image that i made also with the same prompt on the top and as you can see it gave me like something totally different it was and that's the gacha effect that i was talking about and in here you can see that the, the visual language model come and said Full boy shot, a standing person along in the foreground, a pyramid like tower with pointed top under the moonlight at night time. So you can see, like, he went ahead and made like a prompt that could replicate this picture or could closely uh, approximate that. And the thing in here is that you have to select your mold, make sure that you are using a Lava 1.6 mold. 
and I'm gonna explain a little bit more right now how to do that thing. And lastly, of course, I don't know if I explained that, but the response has to go into the positive of the conditioning, the clip text encoder. So this is a normal clip text encoder and I changed the name to C plus to be the positive, right? And the negative is this one and you put the negative prong in here if you have one, right? So now it's taking the response in here for the positive and if you run it, it will try to basically, yeah, let me come in here. Yes, if you run it, by the way, you can put uh, these extras and it will do more than one picture and you will always have like one different every time. And soon I will add a way to change this dynamically. So it will add a new prompt every time. So you will have different things right so that will be more interesting so let me see yes i'm gonna just render a new one here and it will try to approximate this sorry we had a hiccup there so now we are in the image to image here and if you put this empty prompt it will give you like a stable diffusion style prompt and if you ask something like for example what the structure is made of it will tell you oh well it's made of stone and it looks like an ancient thing and kind of the thing but if you just go and run the queue so at the moment we have something like the central figure is a man in clad in a traditional robe and as you can see it's doing that prompt and now it's changing for the new prompt that i asking a mysterious temple ancient archi archi architecture intricate carvings glowing light full boy shot dynamic angle let's see if it goes for it and yeah you have that same thing and you, you can see probably has some of a nation kind of feel somewhere in the front. Maybe that mystical thing makes it a bit of a Asian uh, thing. Okay, so you get that. That's a way to use the visual model. And now we can go ahead and move into Olama. And to install Olama, basically you just download these files from the olama.com. I'm put, gonna put everything in the description so you can navigate to here so olamai.ai and download this it's just one click and it will install and now you can download models also so okay so to run any model that you want to download you just go ahead into the models right and then you can look for any model that you like for example the lava ones and you will have these commands in here that you can select olama run and then the name of the model that you want to download if you go into the latest tab in here, you can select like different flavors of the model. There are the quantized, the quantizations, for example, the Q2K, which is very small. Then you have Q3, Q4, or the full float. And this will affect like the accuracy of the model, but it will also make it hopefully fast and also is still usable depending of it's a hit and miss depending of the mold but like most of the molds they work really well at q5 so the quantization at q5 is kind of good and then you have these kmls uh, s or basically these are like the parameters that you can play with when you are sampling these tokens it will select the it will have like a bigger selection of parameters that it can source from if you go for the large large uh, the l is for large me for medium and s, s for a small and yeah so that's kind of the thing how it works so you copy that command and you have the, th the thing here for copying it and you go into your cli into your command line and here is your command line basically if you said something in here i'm having running one mole here already so you can ask it anything like what is tesla and it's a manufacturer of electric vehicles and you can see the response was super quick then if you want to run or install a new model you can do that command that i did just there which is i have to get out of the way yes so I, that's the command that i copy from the thing olama run lava and this will install if i if i hit click it will install lava in my computer it will download all these models and stuff and I was saying like you have many flavors in here. And one thing that I want to say is that these multimodal lava molds aren't working in the, in the latest one. 
they have a bug right now in the latest uh, llama so if you wait a little bit they will go ahead and fix it i'm able to run it because i have like an old installation and if you want to install the old installation you can go into click on that thing that i click in there and then you have releases and by the way you can see that it's available for amd now and then you will have all these versions i recommend the one that i have which is 125 and then you go into assets and you have the different installers here but the problem with the windows one is that somehow it updates itself all the time so you have to put it in a firewall and you have to make a firewall thing so don't let it connect to the internet to download anything because otherwise it will update but if you go into the if you wait a little bit they will fix it because they are super fast as you can see they even have amd already working on this it works on all the systems and it's very convenient as you can see super fast and this is all for all ama so i'm gonna show you now how to install it in your machine the repo for my custom node i'm gonna try to make it so it will be here in the in the manager right i hope like dr lt that put it here in the manager but now you can install it for now going into your custom nodes here you have config ui custom node and you can come right click or press cmd at the top yeah cmd and then git clone make sure that you are in the correct location i am not in the correct location so i am gonna do it with terminal normally you will be able to do it but because i am in uh, linux it didn't allow me to do it so so now you just write your git clone in thing and like this without the set press enter and it will install it in your custom nodes yeah so that's all basically for installing this one more thing that i want to say is that if you go into your Confi ui output nodes uh, outputs right you will have like the images saved here if you use in this custom node custom workflow that i'm gonna upload and you also have the text files with the save prompts that you've been saving and working with and every every line is a different prompt and this is for convenience you have like the ID of the prompt that you run, question and response, and the negative prompt. Well, so that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed the note. Let me know if you have any requests and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.